Hello little bells, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be answering a question today that I think a lot of people have in their mind but maybe don't feel comfortable asking it because they don't want to seem stupid or they don't want to seem disrespectful. And it's a very, very, very understandable question and I am not really judging people for asking it, but if they don't want to ask it in public, I'm making this video so that I can give them the answer. And the question is, what is the difference between gender identity and sex? So this is a very common question and the reason that I think it's becoming more common is because when you hear about transgender, you are often spoken to about this person's gender identity does not match their uh, biological sex. And for some people that can be confusing because some people have never even heard of gender identity. And let's basically put it this way. When you're born, you have a full name. Okay, now let's pretend that your full name is your biological sex. It is what you were given at birth. Let's say and legally will be biologically. You don't identify with that full name or it's not something that is easy to pronounce or you just want a shorter, simpler name. And that's the name that you more identify with and you will respond to that's basically your gender identity. You don't really identify with your biological sex. You don't really identify with it, so you are going to identify as something else. If you don't identify with your biological sex, all this really means is that you don't identify with what you are biologically. It's like a last name you can choose to legally change it when you get married, or you cannot. Some people don't act on the fact that they feel a disconnect from their gender identity and their biological sex, and other people do. And that is where a whole bunch of other things come into play, like non-binary people, transgender people, gender fluid, agender, a whole bunch of gender identities that exist because we now know about gender identity and we now know that you don't have to identify as what your biological sex is. You don't have to do that because your gender identity is what's in your head, but your biological sex is what is between your legs. And whatever is between your legs is totally your business. You don't have to tell anyone if you don't feel comfortable doing that. So always remember that if you feel like people are asking you questions you're not comfortable with, please tell them that because you don't have to answer any kinds of questions you don't want to. But I really do hope this helped people who are kind of questioning what gender identity is and you know what's the difference between your gender identity and your biological sex. Basically, your gender identity is what you identify as. Your biological sex is what your anatomical makeup is. But that doesn't mean what you were assigned as at birth is what you have to identify as. You can be whoever you want to be, okay? So thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope I informed people who really needed to be informed about what the difference is. And thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.